Hi, I'm Dr. Scott. Let's learn about subunit or conjugate vaccines. Most people have gotten these types of shots a couple times in their lives, and they are used for diseases like Hib, Hepatitis B, HPV, whooping cough, shingles, meningococcal disease, and pneumococcal disease. Each of these diseases is caused by a virus or a bacteria, and these germs can make us sick. Within our bodies, each of us has an immune system that protects us from illnesses. The strength of our immune system is impacted by how we live our life and our environment. For example, by eating nutritious food, getting rest, and connecting with others, we can boost our immune system and stay healthy and strong. We all have antibodies or immune warrior cells that stand guard and attack diseases. When we get a vaccine, the ingredients in the shop tells our warrior cells how to recognize and fight the disease. Imagine that I am the immune system on a bright sunny day. Before getting a vaccine, I'm not able to see the germ. After getting a vaccine, I am able to see the germ. Now, how do subunit and conjugate vaccines work? Viruses and bacteria are tiny, so let's build a model to understand how we get sick. The body of a virus or a bacteria is like a shell. Let's pretend that this ball is a shell of a virus and that this ball is a shell of a bacteria. Some viruses and bacteria have a coating that stick out of its shell. They use this coating to protect themselves and it also allows them to connect to our cells. Let's add these foam darts to the ball and pretend that they're the coating. Now that we've built a virus and a bacteria, let's see how we make a vaccine. Remember which part of the germ sticks to the body first? That's right, the coating. These vaccines contain only the germ coating. This allows our bodies to be exposed to the germ coating without damaging our bodies. When you get the shot, your body will learn what the virus or bacteria looks like and build warrior cells who are then on the lookout for the germ coating. After getting vaccinated against a particular disease, it is less likely that we will get sick with that disease and reduces the seriousness of illness if you get sick. It is also less likely that we will make others sick. Subunit or conjugate vaccines often need multiple shots against a disease within a certain time frame to build up your worry cells to be ready to fight for you. Once the series of shots is complete, you will have more warrior cells that can fully protect you. If you receive a vaccine, make sure to ask if it is part of a vaccine series. If it is, learn when you need to come in next for your shot or shots. Staying up to date on our vaccinations is one way that we can protect ourselves and others, including our most vulnerable elders and newborn babies. Let's work together to keep our community safe.